Uh, good morning. It's another week of interesting weather. If we look back last week, we thought it was going to be a very dry, hot week. And in the end, we saw a lot of moisture come into Victoria and it was extremely humid uh, midweek. That obviously uh, saw the fire danger ratings decrease. And even over the weekend, we had uh, only two uh, districts on Sunday that were severe and total fire bans in place and very small number of fires, which is a great outcome. This week, uh, we've got a very mild week. So most of the week it will be a high fire danger ratings across the state in all districts. And we've got the potential Friday, Saturday to see the temperatures come back, but not excessive temperatures, but they will be temperatures in the, in the 30s and might just reach into the 40 degrees in the very far north. So we'll wait and see what the Bureau brings, but it's, uh, it's definite that we've now got moisture in the system. There's rain uh, on the eastern seaboard. There has been rain for the last few days. That means we've got a more moist atmosphere it's not as dry, it's not critical dry, so the fire danger ratings are down and will remain down. The last comment, I suppose, is Western Victoria, so central and across to the South Australian border, is still dry in many cases. They haven't had significant rain. Those areas uh, will remain dry, and we should remember that, that those that live in Melbourne or some of the, the, the more metropolitan areas would say the fire season's over. We need to be careful not to think that too, too early. Uh, we could still have fires at the end of February, early March, do significant damage in the central and western part of Victoria, and that's because it's dry. And all we need then is the, the hot, dry and windy days to bring it into areas of significance. So I think that's the message. Mild week this week. Have a good look at Friday, Saturday. They'll be the warmest days, but we believe it will still be moist without strong winds. Uh, and that's, that's probably the best we can see for this week without having a super crystal ball. Thank you.